Let's talk about the geology of rutilated quartz. Rutilated quartz is a form of quartz with inclusions of rutile in it. Rutile is defined as a high pressured, high temperature mineral that is the most common form of titanium oxide. Rutile is extracted for manufacturing purposes mainly to make ceramics and pigments and is in the production of titanium, a metal that is used to build airplanes, spaceships, and missiles. Rutile can commonly be found in metamorphic rocks and also is an accessory mineral in igneous rocks. It forms as thin needle-like crystals that are commonly found growing in quartz and conundrum, which is ruby and sapphire. Those famous star sapphires and star rubies are actually entirely due to tiny rutile inclusions in them. How cool is that? When the iron oxide in rutile quartz is high, the inclusions often take a redder to often gold tone to it but then you'll also usually see a brownish red co in color because that's the presence of iron impurities within the rutile. Rutile can also be found as a secondary mineral in hydrothermal veins since silica is such a common and major component in rocks as well as being a very common hydrothermal mineral. This makes sense as to why rutile is commonly found growing in quartz crystals. Hydrothermal minerals like quartz are often deposited into cracks and spaces within a host rock. The rutiles form inside these cracks and spaces where they have room to grow into these long needles. From there, the rutile is incorporated into hydrothermally deposited quartz. Some rutiles in quartz can possibly be formed from metamorphism, but it's most likely formed through these hydrothermal processes. On the Mohs scale of hardness, rutile quartz grades at a seven due to the quartz surrounding it. And the majority of rutile quartz on the market comes from Brazil and Madagascar. It has also been found in Australia, Austria, Belgium, France, England, Italy, Sweden, Switzerland, and even the United States. There's really cool deposits found in the United States.